You might say this week's good sport passes the plate to help bring youth together for afternoons of fellowship and competition. Nice, nice, nice. Air it out, air it out. On most Sunday afternoons, there's a good chance you'll find Elliot Tadlock and friends engaged in a competitive game of Ultimate Frisbee. We went to a church camp, and uh, we, we play Ultimate at church camp, and we are like, man, this is fun. We wish we had something like this down south. So we, ended up, well, we couldn't really find anything that kind of fit for us. So we was like, well, we'll just start something. So that's when we started talking with the churches and started organizing this event. Elliot's cousin, Noah Smith, nominated him as a good sport. He told us how Elliot dedicated his time and money to start the Southern Alabama Fellowship League. Well, I actually went to camp with him. We played it up there. So I just thought it was fun. I like to be active and everything. And he, he, he heads everything. The SAFL is a Christian-based ultimate Frisbee league. Our main goal is to break down the, the denominational barriers uh, between the churches and stuff. So you have like Methodists out here, you have Baptists, Pentecostals. What's that? Oh, there are currently eight church teams in the Southern Alabama Fellowship League, and whichever team wins gets to host the other team at their church for a Sunday service. <laughs> I got it! The Frisbees have been flying for over four years now, and it's a unique way to spread the word. I definitely try to uh, incorporate teamwork and just listening to one another because it's so often that you can get scrambled or get uh, frustrated with one another. And I believe we just work as a team and just have fun. I encourage other kids to come out and do stuff like this because it'll help you benefit and it'll help you stay active like exercising and running and playing and helping with your friends. Oh, no! With this week's Good Sport, I'm Randy Patrick, News 5. No. And if you know anyone who goes above and beyond in the community and should be recognized as a good sport, you can send us an email at goodsport at wkrg.com.